Nathan, of course, referenced the criticism of these anti-radicalization programs. We talked about that with David Gartenstein Ross, senior fellow at the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies. That's a nonpartisan group which focuses on foreign policy. Uh, when you're dealing with the specific problem set of uh, jihadist violence, uh, the intervention team is trying to get involved in uh, either a theological or a political debate. And for the former, those which involve uh, theology, um, the Western states generally are not well situated to intervene in a debate about how Islam should be interpreted. Uh, so it's an interesting concept, um, one that's fraught with problems, but also fraught with potential as well in that uh, if you can, rather than simply criminalizing behavior, if you can change behavior and intervene before someone really becomes a problem or a risk uh, of undertaking violent acts, that's obviously a preferable approach. The problems on the other side are, uh, number one, uh, what is the role of a secular state in arguing about uh, what um, the role of religion should be. Secondly, you get into the sort of civil rights, civil liberties concerns that exist in other areas, because uh, rather than prosecuting a crime after it's been committed, uh, you're looking instead to predict that someone is a risk of committing a crime and then have the state intervene in order to change the way that they think. That raises obvious civil rights, civil liberties issues. Um, people, some, some people are uncomfortable uh, with the state seeing its role uh, that way.